वेलकम टू ए लेवल केमिस्ट्री आर टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज फर्दर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इक्वेलिब्रिया इन आर लास्ट प्ले लिस्ट वी टॉक अबाउट रिवर्सिबल रिएक्शन इक्वेलिब्रिया एंड हाउ डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स अफेक्ट द पोजिशन ऑफ इक्वेलिब्रिया इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस मोर ऑन एसिड बेस इक्वेलिब्रिया एंड हाउ इक्वेलिब्रिया अफेक्ट सोल्यूबिलिटी ऑफ कंपाउंड so ionic product of water so before uh, we go forward with this i told you in the last playlist that water is an amphoteric substance which means it can act as an acid or as a base so when in pure water the water molecules dissociate into h plus ions and oh negative ions all in aqueous state the ions in aqueous state because they are in water so this is a reversible reaction as you can see and if i have to write the value of kc which was the equilibrium constant then we did h plus times oh negative the concentrations of h plus concentration of h plus times the concentration of oh negative upon the concentration of water but i also told you that water is a pure liquid and in this case that is exactly the situation it is a pure liquid it is acting as a solvent for the h plus and oh negative ions so we take the concentration of water which is h2o is equal to 1 we take this as 1 and therefore we get kw which is the ionic product of water and it is written as h plus times oh negative the concentration of h plus times the concentration of oh negative so this is called the ionic product of water as you can see and at room temperature kw is equal to 10 to the power minus 14 so this is very important this value because i will be showing you how we use it and uh, the relevance of this value to us in the next slide so let's move forward now ph so when we started studying acids and bases in junior classes then we learned about something which is the ph scale and we uh, we deduced that the lower the ph the more acidic the substance the higher the ph the more basic the substance and a ph of 7 shows that a substance is neutral it's neither acidic nor basic it is neutral so ph uh, of 7 so now i've written the formula for ph over here it is negative log 10 of uh, of the concentration of h plus ions so if i have to take water for example so i told you that the ionic product of water is h plus times oh negative so this is the ionic product of water and uh, if i have this equation so i have this equation and now what if x moles of water dissociate to form ions so x moles of water has dissociated so if x moles of water dissociate then i will have x moles of h plus ions and x moles of oh negative ions because in all these cases we have a one to one ratio so we have x moles of h plus ions in solution and x moles of oh negative ions in solution so i can write that and as you can see the concentration of h plus and oh negative is the same so i can basically write uh, kw is equal to h plus squared so because 
I, I know that in this case the concentration of H plus and OH negative is the same. So I have written Kw is equal to H plus squared because the concentration of H plus is the same as the concentration.